Good day. I am H. Robert Silverstein, MD, for the Preventive Medicine Center and West Hartford Cable Access TV. Uh, if you have any questions about this program or any other program that I have presented, you may contact the Preventive Medicine Center at 549-860-549-3444. Now, uh, it is the season of giving, and I always talk about raising money for West Hartford Cable Access TV and the Preventive Medicine Center, and I always use the same old quote about my older son, Steve, who, when he was in college, used to send me letters, and at the end, he would sign them SMF, which means send millions fast. And uh, so that's a good idea. So send millions fast to West Hartford Cable Access TV and the Preventive Medicine Center. Now, I have a number of uh, subjects for today. Uh, here's a little hint. Oops. Oop, there it goes. Oop, there it goes. Okay, fine. Uh, we'll get back to those, but that's just a little teaser. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Mally's game. Let's see. All right, uh, cheese. Cheese has been in the news recently, and uh, what they found is that people who ate cheese lived longer, and they came up with all kinds of ideas. Folks, doing it less wrong is not the right idea. Cheese is high fat, it is high calorie, and it is high salt in general. There may be some upsides to it, but the correct idea is, so to speak, brown rice, vegetables, beans, fruit, nuts, and seeds with maybe a piece of cheese once or twice a week. But it is not a dominated diet of tuna sandwiches, pizza, uh, chicken breasts, turkey, uh, sausage, uh, eggs, and so on. And again, all I'm doing is talking to you about what are the needs of our biology. The reason so many diseases like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, open heart surgery, dialysis, uh, did I say diabetes, insulin use, and so on, all those conditions at the 90-plus percent level occur because of what people do that is not correct for the human biology. Like it or not, there are truths. We are not to snort things. We are not to smoke things. Uh, yes, the uh, electronic cigarettes are better for you than regular cigarettes, but they also become a gateway to start smoking. And... Um, uh, so we are supposed to breathe clean air, drink clean water. Now everybody's going to get up in arms and say, oh my God, my cup of coffee, two cups of coffee, five cups of coffee. A recent article was uh, something about four cups of coffee did something good, uh, uh, reduced Alzheimer's disease, uh, longevity. I'll tell you how that works. That is a true case of cost and benefit in my best guess, and it goes something like this. Coffee is a kicker, so people who drink more coffee are, in my best guess, likely to be more active. And it is the activity level that you don't need the coffee for. It is the activity level that is cr pushed by drinking that much caffeine that is what is the cause. Well, you might say, all right, I'm going to sit here in front of my TV set, but then if I drink my four cups of coffee, I'm likely to move around more. Hey, cost and benefit. Do what you want to do. There are downsides to coffee, including breast issues, prostate issues, sleep issues, anxiety issues, irregular heartbeat issues, and so on and so on. So everything in life is a cost and risk benefit. And um, uh, no, nobody's getting out of this uh, situation alive. And uh, the question is, how soon and how poorly do you want to go? I have patients who are on dialysis. I have patients who've had breast cancer. I have patients who've had open heart surgery. Patients and friends. And uh, uh, the bottom line is it's best to avoid what you can. The proverbial play, play it safe. And if you don't know how to play it safe, then go to our website, www.the pmc.org, and you'll find all the information you need there about how to live your life without complication or as, no, wrong, 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 with as few complications as possible. All right. Uh, and then somebody wrote an article about uh, high fructose corn syrup. Uh, apparently they're saying it's not so bad. Again, more nonsense. 
a friend of mine, I call him the smartest person in the world, and then I pat myself on the back for being so clever, saying because he is. My buddy J.T. Guy in Columbus, Ohio, is so smart. Can you believe it? I actually think I'm way not as smart as he is. Now, I can think just as well, but he knows so much. Now, what was I going to talk about? Oh, the high fructose corn syrup. He gave me the phrase that is so applicable, naive data gathering. That is what plagues so much of so many studies. Um, I recently got a great compliment on a blog that I was responding to, not one of my blogs. My blogs, you have to go to Facebook and then put in H. Robert Silverstein, and then watch out. I post a lot of heavy scientific stuff, but also I get into some very difficult social areas and let people have at it. The only thing I require is that you be gentlemanly. Uh, I'm sorry that doesn't include all uh, sex uh, identities, but uh, th it conveys the concept. Be professional, uh, no anger, uh, calm discourse, but uh, if you go to Facebook, H. Robert Silverstein, MD, friend me, then you can get in on the discussions, which I generally monitor. Um, so um, uh, what was I talking about? So anyhow, uh, what I said on a different blog, I believe it was Medscape, that you must be aware of naive data gathering, and I cite the studies by Pocock and Stone from the September 2016 New England Journal of Medicine, uh, the editor of the English uh, journal Anesthesia, who criticized many very important studies, and the most important of which to physicians would be called Predimed, P-R-E-D-I-M-E-D, and he pointed out that their statistical uh, derivations had no relationship to reality. And finally, the mother load is uh, A. B. Hill in the 1965, yes, I said that correctly, 1965 Proceedings of the Royal Society of Medicine, uh, going through all the various mistakes that people make in scientific studies that are errors that really make the study of no value. So those are three great references. All right, now the Mediterranean diet. The Mediterranean diet is not correct for the human biology. The Mediterranean diet is not correct for the human biology. It's better than the standard American diet. And yes, uh, I like uh, the old GE phrase that I've quoted many, many times at GE, where progress is our most important product. And the Mediterranean diet, as done in Europe, is truly an advance. To think that the Mediterranean diet can be performed comparably in the United States, comparable to the way it was done in Europe, is sheer fantasy. The quality of our food is nowhere near the quality of the food in European countries as a general rule. You might say, well, what if you buy organic, or what if you shop only at Whole Foods, or you go to the farm-to-table restaurants? No hostility once again. What I say about restaurants is, the only thing you can get in restaurants is hurt. Oh, I think I'm so clever when I say that. I made that up myself. The only thing you can get in restaurants is hurt. Now, I'm not saying don't go to restaurants. Uh, my goodness, uh, the economy of West Hartford would fall apart without all the restaurants are here. By the way, I heard there's a new restaurant, one called Flora, F-L-O-A, no, F-L-O-R-A, and apparently it's above the American Legion building, which is across from the Whole Foods in Blueback Square. And apparently it's vegan. Uh, there's also, what I've been told, a high-quality restaurant in um, Tariffville. And, of course, uh, I love uh, Max's and Grant's and Brico. And I've gone to uh, Division West, and I liked it a lot. Uh, Noble has the wrong... Decor. I'm not really comfortable in there, but uh, some people are, and uh, so that's that. By the way, I drink my coffee from Dunkin' Donuts at Bishop's Corner, and I think it's different. And the, the people in there are so wonderful and so friendly. Uh, I have one, I'll call her my girlfriend. I really like her a lot. Her name is Dewan, and her cohort, Irene and Maddie. Those three make my day when I go in there. They're wonderful. Anyhow, going on. Now, 
a uh, little show and tell. If I were to take one antioxidant, it would be astaxanthin. This is astaxanthin. Instead of vitamin C, instead of vitamin E, instead of B-complex, I would take astaxanthin, A-S-T-A-X-A-N-T-H-I-N. And remember my rule, four to five days a week, not more. Now the brand, this happens to be a good brand. Uh, not all vitamins are high quality. Uh, forgive me for being snobbish, but I really don't recommend the vitamins in Walgreens and CVS and, may, and, and Walmart. I don't know, like I say, maybe that's my being snobby, but I know this brand now, and they're very high quality. Now, that's one. Oh, I wanted to show this. This is from REI. Uh, this is, uh, what I like about this is it collapses so nice and flat. And I just love it uh, because I have a hip problem. I'm using a cane, and uh, that's being worked out. Uh, uh, but w I, carry, I can't use the canes, two canes, uh, and at the same time uh, carry something in my hand. So I sling this over me, and everybody might say, well, why don't you use your backpack? Uh, this is uh, somehow works a little better, a little more flexible. This is my new Note 8. I paid way too much for this, but I do like it a lot. And even though I had the Note 5, I did not master the Note 5, and I haven't mastered the Note 8. But uh, this one, uh, I don't know why Samsung and iPhones don't get the message. They just came out with these bigger phones. They should come out with a bigger phone. Hello, Samsung, uh, iMac, uh, uh, Apple. Make bigger phones. People want bigger phones than this uh, and whatever the new version of uh, the iPhone is. Now, this one is uh, an interesting product. If you go to the natural websites that discuss treatment of cancer, almost all of them mention AHCC, and that's what this is. This is an expensive product, and it is an immune stimulator. And I do believe now makes a product called now brand manufacturer that I just showed you on the astaxanthin makes a product that I think is comparable, but this one is established. So this is immune uh, uh, power. It's AHCC, which is amino hexose correlated amino hexose correlated compound or something like that and uh, promotes optimal T-cell and macrophage activity. You have to take a lot of this, plus it's expensive, and so on and so on. If somebody finds a way to get this uh, more economically, then I suggest, uh, well, please call me, 549-3444, and let me know where this can be obtained more economically. Uh, next is PB-8. This is a probiotic. If you're not having your life live sauerkraut and live miso. And uh, I live near Bishop's Corner, so I shop at the Bishop's Corner Whole Foods. Uh, there are other natural food stores around, but you can get this online. These are the probiotics that you could get if you were making miso soup, such as by the Japanese company Organic Veal. And you might say, well, why don't you recommend uh, Miso Master, which is American? I'm conflicted about that. I just somehow feel that the Japanese know little subtle things that you can't communicate. In other words, the American companies learn how to make miso. It seems like a step one, two, three, four, but there are little details, and, and that's the way I practice medicine. There are little things that I do that make me different. Of course, every doctor can say this, that make me a little different in how I go about things and arrive at conclusion. But PB-8 is the probiotic, probiotics of eight varieties, and it's not all that expensive. Now, I think a line at CVS or possibly at Walgreens may be as good. I don't know whether it's the same uh, in cost or less or more, but uh, this one I can vouch for. Well, you, what did you tell me? Halfway. I keep talking and talking, and the program is disappearing in front of me or in front of you. So PB-8 probiotics, I recommend two a day, four to five days a week. If you're not eating like 
wild brine, raw organic kraut. In other words, you get the sauerkraut that's in the refrigerated section because it's alive. And the organic veal, uh, miso, uh, organic veal, V-I-L-L-E, miso. I like their sweet miso. And uh, then you get some seaweed, which is no big deal. They have it at Whole Foods. And uh, you wash the seaweed on the side because it's got a little ocean grid on it. And then you mix up the miso on the side. You boil your vegetables, your celery, your carrots, uh, your onions, uh, your cilantro, your dill, uh, parsley, parsnip uh, in uh, water, broth. You make a vegetable broth. You put some in a little cup over here on the side to dissolve the organic veal sweet miso. And then you take the broth from the pot that you've just cooked up, should always use low heat, and put it in your dish that you're going to add the soup in. Then you take your miso uh, slurry over here and you start flavoring the soup. You taste it, oh, not enough, so you put a little more in. Don't put too much in because it is salt. And salt causes high blood pressure along with alcohol and overweight. Ideal blood pressure in a person on no medication is 110 over 60. I have patients who think that 120 over 80 is good. 110 over 60 is what's correct for the human biology. It's actually 90 to 110 over 50 to 70. But 110 over 60 is sort of an easy enough number to remember. And I have an article here that says, any sugar in the non-fasting condition that is above 90 implies that there is glucose intolerance. That has been a recommendation of the Preventive Medicine Center for forever. It's called 90 at 90. And when you subtract the good cholesterol from the total cholesterol, that number needs to be 90. The good cholesterol is also called HDL. Do not focus on LDL. Focus on non-HDL cholesterol. Subtract the good cholesterol from the total cholesterol, and that number needs to be 90. And your sugar should be 90 at 90 minutes after a meal. And that's how to reduce risk down to zero. I was looking at a graph that I had in my office before I came, and what it showed was the risk for the development of uh, coronary heart disease comes down as sugars stay below 90, and that's where it bottoms out. So... Um, the same is true for the non-HDL cholesterol of 90. There will be people who want to argue against that. And what I'm telling you is for all practical purposes, you've just heard the real deal. Well, all right. My pick of the litter for antihistamines is Zyrtec. I used to use Claritin. Uh, somehow I like this. I don't feel as sedated when I take this. But uh, no big deal. Claritin, Clarinex, Zyrtec, and I forget the other ones. All right, going on. Vitamin D. Almost everybody does not have what I feel is the correct vitamin D level. This is the 5,000 unit dose. That is not a high dose. That is a normal daily dose. I have this uh, friend of me. Uh, her name is Joanne Manson. She's professor at uh, Harvard at Brigham and Women's Hospital. And she and I, uh, well, I write her and then she responds. Uh, she's a very nice lady, but I think she's got it all wrong about vitamin D, and I tell her so. And uh, we go back and forth, but like I say, we're frenemies, and we really like each other, even though we're on opposite sides of the discussion. And by the way, that's a, an important point I want to bring up. I am so sick and tired of my liberal cohorts, my liberal Democrats, who get angry and start shouting, Civil discourse, gentlemanly discourse, is what is correct. Do not raise your voice, and you need not say nasty things. And by the way, Nancy Pelosi ought to be a comedian. That woman can't talk. Somebody said something very funny about her. They said, I'd like to see a sentence that has a subject, an object, and a verb, a subject, verb, and object in it from her. And you listen to her talk, it is absurd. Will my Democratic Party please get rid of these old guards? And I'm not so in love with Mitch McConnell of the Republicans either. Now, is anybody happy about their taxes here in West Hartford? And how do we compare to other communities and so on? Clearly, this state 
and this city have made some terrible mistakes. I read an article in the West Hartford Press about what they were doing. Frankly, I'm not that good at economics. My son talked to me for an hour today about economics and my personal economics and what I needed to do and not do and uh, where the issues were and weren't and so on. And um, I, I couldn't follow the article, but it was about the budget of West Hartford. Sherry Roth, is that her name? Is that our mayor? Come on, Sherry, do what you're supposed to. And the same for the whole council of West Hartford. Our costs are absurd, and you don't seem to get a grip on it. There's clearly a tug of war going on, and you act like uh, no big deal. There need to be drastic reductions in our budget, which means infinitely greater efficiency and a reduction in uh, costs, and I don't care whether that's retirement programs, health programs. I'm not, look, we do things beautifully around here. It's just that we can't afford for how beautifully we're doing them. If any of my viewers uh, feel like uh, I've said something that's true or not true, let us know here at West Hartford Cable Access TV. Let the mayor know. Let the town council know. Speak to people. Uh, call, uh, don't call. Email the Preventive Medicine Center. We have a website. Okay, so vitamin D uh, and my frenemy Joanne Manson in, uh, at Harvard Brigham and Women. 5,000 units a day, five days a week is almost certainly the proper and safe dose, but... The way to find out if your level is correct, it should be 50 to 66 nanograms per, I think it's milliliter, yeah. 50 to 66 is the proper level. Not 30 that everybody else, including Joanne Manson, is saying. What do I have here? Ubiquinol. A lot of people are on statins. Uh, uh, Zocor, Lipitor, Crestor, Simvastatin, Rosuvastatin, uh, Atorvastatin, and uh, that uh, there's one exception to the rule, uh, and that is uh, Pitavastatin. Uh, that one does not require that you take some form of coenzyme Q10. Uh, I have a, a student who's made a fortune being an early bird on the coenzyme Q10 uh, program, and that's Steve Sinatra. Uh, he is a real success. He and I are sort of on the same page, but not exactly. And, uh, but he, he was right, and he is right, about taking uh, either coenzyme Q10 or ubiquinol. Ubiquinol is the activated form. This is the 50 milligram dose, and that should be enough, but it also comes in 100 milligrams. It might come in a higher dose. Um, to be taken when you take any of the statins. Five minutes. All right, now. I'm seeing an awful lot of Alzheimer's disease and people complaining of their memory. Alzheimer's disease is absolutely no different from any other disease. It's one we make happen. Now, it may be in part due to uh, exposures that we got in water or the air uh, pesticides have been linked to the development of Parkinsonism. Uh, who knows what causes Alzheimer's? But I'm a strong believer. Oh, didn't I bring that? Hmm. I thought I did. Um, Cognitex, C O G N I T E X. Cognitex is a product from Life Extension Foundation that I do recommend along with D M A E and niacinamide. But again, not every day. I believe that you get adapted to things that you do every day. Uh, for instance, what would happen if I stopped my cup of coffee? I'd feel like somebody pulled the cork out and I'd need to take a nap and I'd get a headache. That shows that I've got an unhealthy addiction to caffeine and coffee. And for some reason, I haven't tested it recently to see whether or not tea could take the place if it's just the caffeine that is the difference. You know, if you drink enough tea, you have the same amount of caffeine as you have in coffee. Uh, coffee is about twice as much caffeine as tea is. So what happens if you have two or three tea bags in one cup of water? Uh, would that be the same as one standard? Uh, I get uh, dark roast, uh, one, sta uh, one standard cup of coffee. 
And I don't think the roasting has anything to do with the coffee. It has to do with the taste. So uh, I want to show you this. Uh, I got this at, uh, uh, what is it, Lewis? Uh, these uh, freaky looking glasses are really great. And I keep them in my pocket or in the car, depending upon the sun. They are polarized and uh, uh, they fit okay. And like I say, it's old people's sunglasses, but they're really nice for driving and being in the sun. Now, um, a lot of people won't take a statin for their cholesterol. And again, you could do it all by being lean enough, exercising enough, and being vegan enough. We have three minutes. Here is a product that is composed of berberine and silymarin. Uh, it's called berberol, but you can put it together yourself by buying berberine and silymarin, which is a liver cleaner, uh, so to speak. So uh, berberine is sort of like a natural form of metformin, which I think if you have many cancers would be a good idea to be on. Many cancers are affected by insulin, and metformin addresses part of the insulin issue. And so uh, if you uh, had uh, prostate cancer or breast cancer, besides being anticoagulated, isn't that interesting? At least aspirin, if not warfarin, or what are called the NOACs. Um, two minutes. Uh, berberine and silymarin. Uh, now, for hip surgery, uh, indwelling catheters to reduce pain uh, infusion, obviously some kind of lidocaine infu uh, administration of local and short-acting anesthesia provides pain control. Uh, let's see, some uh, local injections, uh, the soft tissue, knee and hip surgery. Hip surgery is what I may be up against. Uh, the Preventive Medicine Center, uh, I concentrated an article by a Dr. Kareem for the office, and I changed some of his wording around. I give him credit. And um, what I say, what this tells you to do, one minute, what this tells you to do is to write down five questions. Uh, can I do better with my diet? Uh, uh, will I be just as happy losing the weight? Ask positive questions. Uh, don't uh, ask negative questions of why am I so stupid as to continue to do X, Y, or Z. Write five positive questions. Don't answer them. Read them three times a day for six weeks. And I'll bet you it is helpful in reducing your weight. All right. Um, Rainforest Miracle Prevents Alzheimer's Disease. That was one thing that I brought around. And that is called you know, Amazon Brain Support. And that's not from Amazon the Corporation. It's the Amazon Forest. And it's from Rainforest Pharmacy. Well, I guess that's it. Hope you enjoyed the program. Good day and God bless you all. I am H. Robert Silverstein, MD, for the Preventive Medicine Center and West Hartford Cable Access TV. Happy holidays, folks. I wore a red tie today. Mm -hmm.